कृष्ण कृष्ण रे अरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Hey all of you we have to get started with the class okay sorry about that you can continue your chanting and finish it okay after class is done okay. thank you so much for chanting so beautifully that was wonderful okay so today let's move on to first sri la prabhupad's quote for the day actually this quote is very apt for today's um topic so yes palvit please go ahead and read if one renders even a small amount of sincere devotional service krishna becomes obliged to alleviate such person and what to speak of one whose entire life and soul has been dedicated to his service mm Letter to Hare Nama, November sixth, nineteen sixty nine. Okay. Yes, Param, go ahead. November. You wanna read or explain? Read, Mataji. Okay. No, no, November sixth. If one renders even a small amount of sincere devotional service, Krishna becomes obliged to elevate such person. And what to speak of one whose entire life and soul has been dedicated to Krishna's service? Letter to Hari and Nama, November six, nineteen sixty. Balavrinda, go ahead. Balavrinda, are you ready to say this? Read it, Mataji. You want to read the quote, or you want to explain the quote? Read it, Mataji. Okay, go ahead. Um. If one render wait, I want to just wait for okay. Um, sixth November. If one renders even a small amount of sincere devotional service, Krishna becomes obliged to elevate such person and what is of one whose entire life and soul has been dedicated to Krishna's service. Letter to Hari Nam. November six, nineteen sixty nine. Hari Krishna Calendar dot com. Mataji, today mid morning. Uh, our uh, Uh, this uh, Mataji Anita Mataji asked the quiz, right? Which verse of Bhagavad Gita? Hmm. Hmm. Who wants to say? I don't know. Salpa Mabya. Oh. Salpa Mabya is the Dharma. So, 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 so. Is it that verse? Very good. It has to be. One who has even a little devotional service Sarva, in the world goes a very long way. Excellent. Now oh, yes, okay. Palvet Subhadra Giri Dali. Palvet, why is your hand raised? You already read, right? No, I want to explain, Madhavi. Oh, you want to explain? Okay, after you explain, we will ask the rest. Okay, go ahead. Um. So what um Sri Prabhupada is um trying to say that um if we like um we do we are doing sir we if we do. Sincere um service to Krishna. Mm. He is telling us we can actually go back to him. Ah, so what are we all doing in this Kartik month? Uh, uh offering lamp. Ah, offering ghee lamp, chanting. Yes, very good. Yes, so we are all trying to sincerely do devotional service to the Lord. and obviously you all have started at such a young age i did not even get the opportunity i didn't even know that krishna is the supreme personality of god at that age ah uh, but you all have this wonderful opportunity where you are raised in such a perfect household and you already are practicing so you are all coming in the second category where your entire life you have dedicated to lord krishna's service already sir That's just so wonderful. 
Obviously, Krishna is going to be very pleased with you. Yes. Thank you so much, Palvit. Beautiful. So, Badra Giridari, go ahead. Yes, Mataji. So, I wanted to explain. Oh, this. perfect. Yeah. So, I wanted to explain this. Uh, this quote. So, like, so, so, like, what this is trying to like say is that, like, like even even if we like try a little bit of bhakti, like, if we put a little bit, like, like this one is saying, if we put a small amount of sincere devotional service, if we, if we, like, we're just uh, children, right? Like, we're just kids, and we're offering the lamp already. And then Krishna, mm. Krishna is so pleased with us that he is so happy. And he is in, and he is really joyful and and blissful. We are blissful to have Krishna, and mm -hmm. and if we dedicate, like if like if we dedicate our whole life to Krishna, we we may go back to Godhead. We may go back to the spiritual world of Golok Vrindavan. Yes. So what happens is by even doing little service to the Lord, we make the Lord feel so indebted indebted to us. You know the Lord feels like oh my Subhadra offered this lamp to me and she's been offering it for the last one full month and every day she does arti and chanting and she's reading my books she's reading Bhagavad Gita she's reading Srimad Bhagavatam he's going to be so pleased with you and he would be like oh she has done so much for me what can I give her right so Krishna gives himself Wonderful. Thank you so much, Subhadra. Mataji, can I say something? Mm. So Mataji, like my sister and other people said, so like this this quote that Srila Prabhupada said to Hare Nama um, is basically if, if Srila Prabhupada is explaining to him or her that by rendering a small amount of devotional service, Krishna becomes so pleased that he... Uh, is ready to uh, do anything for his devotees, even yeah. though um the like if we're like a child, a child who gives out a ghee lamb to Krishna in uh Kar in the month of Kartik, um Krishna is so pleased that he uh he is so pleased that he can do anything, and he's so devoted to his devotees who are so indebted. Um, for his service. Very nice. Wonderfully explained. Thank you so much, Kiri Dadi. Param and Devash, your hands are raised. Param, did you want to explain? Oh, yes, Mataji. Um, also, Mataji, like, um, before, like, when Balavinda was reading, I heard that, like, there was, like, some Mridanga sounds. <laughs> like, I think someone was on mute because, like, there were, like, Mridanga sounds. <clears throat> and like for explaining mm. that Krishna is saying that even if you offer like a little amount, Krishna um is so merciful, like mm -hmm. in the month of Kartik, because um a Kartik month is really special mm. because you get like thousand times more than you would get regularly. And it is said that um we should do bhakti because um like in the last few days of Kartik, um, they're like Bhishma Panchank, and it and if you do a lot, of, now everyone does a lot of service to Krishna. Everything because the um every Prabhupada said that if we just um if you follow my instructions. You, there's a hundred percent surety that you'll go back to God because Prabhupada said it. So no, if or but because whenever something's spoken from a a pure devotee, it's always true. Very good, very nice. Thank and you. also Krishna, like Giridhar, you were saying that um, Krishna comes when Krishna needs to. Because even though the devotee says no, because like in the war in the Mahabharat, that um Krishna took the wheel of the chariot and started <clears throat> attacking um Bhishma Dev, mm. and um Arjun stopped, but then Krishna was about to break his promise and 
helps help his devotee. So this shows that Krishna cares about his devotee more than himself. Mm, very good. Very good. Thank you so much. He does care so much more about his devotee that time he doesn't care about himself. Wonderful. And also, yes. he also helps his devotees because Prabhupada, when he was on the sh cargo ship, um, I heard that uh, Prabhupada disciples in like one state, I forgot the state, like um, one uh, Prabhupada disciple went on the sh uh, the cargo ship and they were trying to, they were on like on a boat. And then they tried it out, how Prabhupada did it. And they said, I'm warm, like I'm seasick. And it's really hard to go travel on ship on a on water for that long of a period. So Prabhupada wants us, his, um, Prabhupada just came for us, not for anyone else. Very nice, yes. Thank you so much for even glorifying Prabhupada in this process. Wonderful. Devarsh, please go ahead. Madhuri, the glory was my dad, Guru Mulanka. But I also want, I want to read and also explain. Okay, read. And then also, can I also explain? Very quickly. Okay, yeah, we are okay. running short on time. If one surrenders even... A small amount of sincere devotional devotional service, Krishna obviously um to to delay such person and what to speak a uh, one who returns eternal and life, life. for soul has dedicated. been dedicated Krishna service. Mm. A letter to Harada. November 6, 1989. I what I'm trying to say that like like if, if Krishna does not need anything, so Krishna was trying to say like you know like uh, uh, you know like in in the uh, Patram Pushpa they say only if you give a leaf flower and like that if you give anything small amount um uh and they Krishna will become pleased um like and. And 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 if that happens, if somebody gives it, they will get they'll get like they'll get like totally uh they'll get eternal they get eternal and they'll they will get they'll they'll get purified. Very good. So yeah. that's why that's why and then and then and then if you speak about Arjuna, he he. He asked every single thing to Krishna. He never did anything that Krishna did not tell him. He, he followed on Krishna. Very like he gave his whole life. He gave his whole life. Mm. Okay, so that's a pure devotee. Arjuna was a very good example. He followed Krishna's instructions and he just gave everything, did everything for Krishna. Yes. Okay, so now we are in the section where Prithu Maharaj offers prayers to the Supreme Lord. He is offering prayers to Lord Vishnu when he came there. Okay, I hope you all remember the previous section. So I will just quickly recap. Okay, Anga had a son by the name Vena. This was a very cruel boy. And Anga, because he was so traumatized by the son, he left the kingdom. Okay, everybody, there is a Kahoot and that's why I'm trying to do a recap so that you have all the names and everything correct. Okay, so please pay attention. Vena was very, very cruel and he was a bad king. So the sages came, they cursed him and he falls down dead. Now, Vena's body was preserved by his mother, Sunita. 
and what does she do and she because she preserves it uh, when vena left the kingdom was you know completely uh, they didn't have a king so there were a lot of thieves and other rogues started entering the kingdom and they started attacking and the people were in trouble again so what did the sages do the sages they churned the body of vena when they first churned the thighs of venas what happened there was a very a uh, horrid personality that came out bahalika and he was told to go into the forest and stay there hmm? nishadha so then after that the sages churned the arms of uh, vena and through the churning of his arms prithu and archi appeared now prithu maharaj he then started ruling the whole kingdom and what happens is at that time he decides that oh okay all the people come and they say that there is no food there is, they are all uh, hunger hunger stricken and they have been you know they have not had anything to eat in many days so what is going on here so um prithu maharaj finds out that the earth has stocked up her grains and she is not giving anything to the people and so prithu maharaj gets very angry with mother earth and he runs behind her he chases her and the moment she understands that prithu maharaj is chasing her the earth takes on the form of a cow and she runs for and she runs away so finally uh, she has to seek protection from prithu maharaj and prithu maharaj is very pleased with her seeing her as his own child he takes care and he um he oh, what is it he milks the cow and from that he gets the grains that are required for uh, for their sustenance yes why does devarsh and evk isha what do you have you have a question yes. i don't mean to i don't mean to raise my hand okay no worries devarsh i'll yeah i'll lower it yes yeah, see i was just wondering how do you chase the earth Oh, the mother earth took on the form of a cow he he was going to punish her anyway so that's why she he took on the, she took on the form of a cow and he chases her but um, i even have a question how did um, uh, he chase mother earth because mother earth was normal so how can he um, chase her mm, he was going to punish her and she is right here so he can punish bhumi devi very easily right so bhumi devi takes on a form that would be uh, you know that the king cannot harm so cow is supposed to be protected by everybody and that's why mother earth took on the form of the cow also cow is one of our mothers so we protect her in that way also right so because of so all these reasons the mother uh, mother earth took on the form of the cow okay so so what he basically did he just um he um so but i have a question that a um, mother earth is um in in the form of an earth so how can oh. it happen how can how can she change her form yeah no how can a prithu um chase um bhumi mother earth that was the kid's name she took the form of a cow yeah okay par kaise okay. i hope that's okay okay we we can go back and we can read exactly what happens in that section okay so mother earth was holding the grains prithu becomes very angry and he aimed an arrow for the earth okay the earth is right there still so because she was so afraid for her life mother earth fled in the form of a cow Okay, so um, so basically, he was shooting it down, or was he in outer space? Why outer space, Kane? Because um, on the ground. This is Mother Earth. <laughs> okay. 
and so then what happened okay so then finally uh, he uh, gets he extracts the grains from mother earth and everybody else comes and they takes their share also from mother earth and after that prithu maharaj he starts ruling the kingdom again everybody is very happy everything goes very well because now the kingdom is oh god oh, you know the people are not starving if they have enough grains and everything and prithu maharaj levels the land he takes care of the earth and he makes cities and you know townships and he separates things out now after this he decides to do 100 horse sacrifices or ashwamedha yagnas and he starts the sacrifice one who does 100 horse sacrifices has a potential of becoming indra okay so thinking like this indra gets so worried oh my position is now in trouble so what does indra do and the 19 after the 99th sacrifice is over indra starts appearing in all different forms and he starts taking away the horse the sacred horse and so he used to come in various forms and so i think this is all discussed in the last few days so he takes various forms and he kept taking away the horse finally prithu maharaj gets very angry and he says okay let us take indra itself and throw him in the fire hmm? so then he will be done for so his brahmana start attempting for that to do that when lord brahma appears and brahma appears and he tells prithu maharaj please stop this we don't need to do the sacrifice any more let it stay as 99 you don't need to do 100 sacrifices okay leave that indra forget about him and you continue and be happy and seeing this see so when brahma tells him that okay he is a great king he is very powerful he is also uh, an empowered incarnation of the lord himself okay but you should see how obedient he is he is so respectful to lord brahma that immediately the moment brahma said it he left it all he has completed 99 sacrifice he didn't think there's only one more left he didn't think about that yes my uh, forefather has told me lord brahma has told me so i should follow immediately he follows the advice of brahma and he decides that okay the sacrifice is complete we are going to stop here at that point a very beautiful wonderful personality appears there and that was the supreme lord vishnu himself and he comes there along with him indra also comes indra comes um begging for forgiveness lord vishnu brings him along and lord vishnu he gives some advice to prithu maharaj and he says oh this is you know it's a, you are a very great king and a very great devotee also so forgiveness always looks very good on you so after saying all this prithu maharaj he is so moved by the lord's presence there that he starts shedding so many tears you know and then eventually he starts praying to the lord he offers his prayers and one of his very very famous prayers that he offers to the lord is that oh bestower of all benedictions i do not desire heaven i don't even seek liberation i am only requesting one boon from you and that boon is to give me millions of years to hear what do i want millions of years for so that i can hear your nectarian pastimes from the most pure hearted devotees okay so what do you mean by millions of years does it mean that he is going to get millions of years like what you see indra has millions of eye, uh, thousands of eyes on all over his body is he going to get millions of years no what he actually means is by millions of years he is asking for lots of devotee association with a lot of association from pure devotees he is going to be able to hear about the glories of the lord and especially become purified much more faster okay so in shrimad bhagavatam the whole shrimad bhagavatam emanates from the mouth of shila shukadev goswami okay and just because of vyasadev wrote it down 
But the moment Shukadev Goswami spoke those words, that Bhagavatam became even more relishable. Hmm? Okay, so that's because Srila uh, Shri Shukadev Goswami was a very pure devotee of the Lord. So, whenever the glories of the Lord are uh, chanted, we need to make sure that it is coming from a pure devotee, not anybody. Now, it cannot be from somebody who wants to criticize the Lord or make fun of the Lord. Those we should not listen to, right? Uh, the moment we start hearing from a pure devotee, our purification process also happens much more faster. That's how Srila Prabhupada, when he came to the West, how was he able to make so many devotees out of people who don't even know anything about Bhagavatam or anything about Krishna or anything about our Puranas and scriptures, right? Or even the language they don't know. But the moment Srila Prabhupada said it to them, they got purified instantly. So that's very effective. Okay, so the Lord, on hearing uh, Prithu Maharaj's um, uh, prayers, the Lord gives a benediction that, oh yes, may you have unflinching bhakti to me and only by such purity uh, that you have can you cross over this maya that is very difficult to cross. We have so much trouble because maya came in the form of, see, Indra, he was trying to attack him so many times, right? But Prithu Maharaj did not waver. So the Lord protected him. Lord's benediction was that, yes, you will continuously be devoted to me and you will be protected from Maya because of this purity that you have. And after the Lord left, actually, it's so beautiful. If you read the chapter, it describes very wonderfully how the Lord also was hesitating to leave. You know, it normally when we see the Lord, we we have tears in our eyes. But this is one case when when the Lord he was standing there, he was seeing Prithu Maharaj, and he also was hesitating to leave because he couldn't leave um, such a wonderful devotee. Why was he so pleased? He was so pleased by. He just appeared there because of how devoted Prithu Maharaj was. Prithu Maharaj was so obedient to his, um, to his, uh, to Lord Brahma's words, right? He was so humble that immediately he did not care for anything else. He followed the instructions. So that was what pleased the Lord. Now, after the Lord left, Prithu Maharaj then decided that okay, everything has stopped, so let us go back to um to my kingdom because the sacrifice was happening outside the city. So he went back to the city and once he entered, all the citizens, they were very lovingly received the king. They, gar they had beautiful garlands to receive him. They decorated the whole kingdom so wonderfully. There was flowers all over, beautiful clothes, lamps were lit. Everything was very clean and the city was very nicely perfumed. And uh, everybody received the king very wonderfully. They offered like all nice auspicious articles. They offered lamb, flower, yogurt and um, un small unmarried young girls. They also had a lot of ornaments and they also mm, came there to receive the king. So uh, as we learn here that the greatest aspiration of or any devotee is to be in devotee association. See, so many devotees came together. And when they come together, what should we talk about? Hmm? We should not talk about, oh, okay, Palvit did that, Isha did this, Devash is like this. No, that's not what we should talk about. We should glorify the devotees. And we should make sure that we specially glorify the Lord. And the Lord is very pleased when we glorify His devotees. His great devotees are also equally respected. So, you all, I know, have been to many different sanghas. Like you go to the temples, you go and have go to sadhu sangha, you go to so many places. So, what have you learned when you meet other devotees, when you are in their association? Huh? We'll very quickly do this exercise. Tell me. I will write it down. Wait. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. 
but go ahead please answer so you can raise your hands and i'm going to write down what you're saying yes go ahead balavrinda so i have learned um a lot of things about krishna and um how how a lot of people um have pure love for krishna and i became good, better in my krishna consciousness by associating with devotees yeah oh okay and i have way better friendship mm very and good we also yeah. eating prasadam what we okay. also be eating prasadam okay very nice who wants to go next yes giridhari and subhadra uh, yes mataji so mataji a uh, one like one like things that i have learned in devotee association so far mm -hmm. in my life is like just like how balavinda said but like I learned a lot of a lot of pastimes, a lot of stories about Krishna, mm. like like uh, like like Balakan pastimes about Krishna, and like like the story the storyhood of Krishna, and and I also learned, and I learned things that like it was something like it was like I learned. I also learned how to play, play all the instruments like harmonium, the kartas, and I could I could I could do arti, and and also prashadam too, just like how Balavrinda said. Hmm. Very nice. Mataji, can I go next? Yes. yes oh, wait, wait, Ma Oh, okay. That was uh, part of this one sec. Oh, okay. Um, when I learned, uh, when I met devotees, I learned that um, a lot of things like tol tolerance, because some of the people like they they're really like rude. Yeah. So I try to tolerate people mm -hmm. because of, and also I also learned like a lot of stories, mm -hmm. and um, like. When I have holidays, mm -hmm. um, I li like uh, I like Amrita Prabhu classes and Adi Gadada Prabhu. Mm. Ma Mataji, can, uh, can, can I say something also? So, yes. So Mataji, uh -huh. yeah. So Mataji, like all uh, like Vrinda, Bal Vrinda, my sister and Padram son. Basically, like uh, with the association of devotees, I can we can basically learn about uh scriptures about Krishna conscious activities, and mm. uh, how to use this uh practically every day, like as Very our. Nice. Life. So we can use everything in Krishna's service, like Shri Prabhupada said, and we can utilize everything under Krishna's service with a devotee association. Yes, very nice. Thank you so much, Giridari. EVK. Mataji, um, with having the devotee association, um, like when you don't want to do um. Like you don't want to drop or you're too tired to or you just don't want to. A devotee or your um yeah, a devotee will come there and um help you, um or like help you and like, oh let's just do the japa, just one more kid then and like make you um make you do um good things in case I find shit there. Mm, very nice. I gotta make my job better. Very nice. Trisha, are you there? Hare Krishna, Trisha, are you there? Okay, Palvet. Oh, okay, Trisha is back. Um, Mataji, what I um know um with devo um when I'm with devotees, mm, yes, is like uh if before Krishna consciousness, I usually 
my parents are like, I would usually go with non devotees association. Like, no, I want to purposefully call them non devotees, but like, so let's just go with people who are not devotees. And then we would sometimes like, I would worry about something or I would like, it would like, it would, I would like get a lot of tension. But like, when I come into Krishna consciousness, like, I be at home and then I play with somebody. It doesn't feel as fun, but when I come here, it's just, it it it's just like a bliss. It's like a blissful um environment. Very nice, nice realization, Rishya. Thank you, Palvet. Okay, everybody, please have your devices ready for Kahoot. Okay, we are going to do Kahoot. Um. So like um. As people said, like Balvindu Subhata Param Giridari and um, Krishna. Mm. That like they said, like serving Krishna is like um the most thing. So like I so like um I learned um about um devote association like um like uh, learn about Krishna, serve about Krishna. Mm -hmm. And uh, learn about his pastimes. Yes, okay. Very nice. Um chanting is uh a uh, mantra. Chanting, very good. And that's all. Yeah. You also learn to make friends. Do you have friends in Casey? Uh yes, my Casey. Hmm. So that's another thing we all learn. Okay, thank you, Palvet. Devash. Madhuri. So I learned about Srila Prabhupada, how to serve Srila Prabhupada, how, uh -huh. um, if, we, if, we, if we serve Srila Prabhupada, that means we are serving Lord Krishna. Uh, um, I learned how to do Harati, I learned how to play Karta with Anga. Mm, very um, and, I, and I learned how to dress up Srila Prabhupada from New Vrindavan. Ah. Uh. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. So first, let us do our Damodar Arati. Risha, you wanted to say one more thing? Thank you, Daivarsh. Okay. Matiji, about um, Daivarsh's like Prabhupada dressing, we are Bhakti Riksha goes to New Vrindavan. So yeah. I, want, I want to tell you that um, me and me and Devarsh and um one more boy, we went to dress Prabhupada together. Oh, you dress Prabhupada together? Wow, that is so amazing. And That's I also nice. learned that they actually bathed Prabhupada the new Vrindavan. I never knew that until we got a chance to do that. They bathed the big deity of Srila Prabhupada? Yeah, in Palace of Gold. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah, I also learned that. Uh, yeah, like, like it was like a nice time. Like, um, I got to sweep the floor. You got to sweep the floor also? Wow. That's cool. I wish I got to pick, pick the dress for the water thing. You know, yeah. the, um, the cloth. So in, in there, they put like a cloth on top instead of like. So no, when we offer, we put like a plate. But they put um a special cloth and then they put the water for the water. Oh. Wow. Wow. That's just amazing. That's so merciful of them to give you an opportunity to dress and you all did so good. I'm so happy. Very happy for all of you. That's amazing. Okay. Let's all do Damodarashtakam together. Okay. All the verses. Okay. I know you all know this. So let's start. Namani Karam Sati Ananda Rupa Sadaguna Oh, <laughs> 
Share my screen. Eight four four three one two. How do I turn this music? So much peaceful. Okay, so. Next time, when we are doing Dhammudarashtakam, each one of you should do a verse or at least half a verse. Everybody singing it together, I had no idea who's singing what. <laughs> so, are you all ready? Shall we start? Anybody no, missing? No, no, I'm not ready. I didn't, I, I'm not in yet. I'm still typing the code. Who is Laddu? <laughs> Laddu Narsimha Kahi. Who is Kahi? Laddu is Param. Laddu is Param. Laddu I am Narsimha. Who is, Na who is Narsimha? Me? Oh, Sri Hari became Narsimha? Yeah. Oh, okay. Palvit is Texas. Palvit is Texas. What is this? Laddu is Param. I already know Laddu is Param. Krishna, who is Krishna here? <laughs> Who is Ladu? Subhadra and Giridari, that I know. Janvi, are you in? Who is Ladu? Amadi, I am joining in. Okay. Matadi. Yes. yes. Uh, what, what's the code? 844312. Okay, Matadi. Did you get it? 844312. Oh, 
everybody start? No, Mataji. I have nine participants in. Mataji, Mataji, I'm joining. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. I see Vrinda. Mataji, 8443. Emojis also. Come on. Emojis um, in the character are the same. Yeah. Oh, even the character is saying you're right. I should have seen that. Alvin and Janvi. Janvi, why did you copy me? Janvi always does that. I didn't copy. I just pressed five ran four yeah, random. Let us not accuse each other. Five random. All those five stuff random stuff emojis are on top of my emoji thing. That's why I always do those. I I pressed them because um, they're on my uh, current time okay, thing. I'm gonna start. I don't it, see. We just talked about good core character, right? So let us try to imbibe those good qualities also. I'm gonna start the kahoot. Okay, this is on Prithu Maharaj. And the questions are going to be right in front of you now. First question. How did King Prithu appear? Very simple. I hope you all can see the questions. From the mother's womb by churning Vena's arm. From Brahma by churning Vena's thighs. Okay, so by churning Vena's arms from the thighs, a, a bad personality emerged. He was thrown to the forest. Only when they churned after that, they churned Vena's arms and they got him. Okay, who is Archie here? Okay. What is Prithu Maharaj's consort or his wife's name? Archi, Shatarupa, Suruchi, or Sunita? Archi, Prithu and Archi. Okay. Sunita is the mother of Vena. Shatarupa is the wife of King um, Swayambhuamanu. And Suruchi is the son, uh, the wife of King. Uh, Uttama's mother. She is Uttanapada's wife. Okay, so how was Prithu Maharaj blessed by the Lord, by Supreme Lord? When he... Okay, so this is when he appeared uh, from Vena. What was the special speciality of Prithu Maharaj? Was he Lord Vishnu himself? Was he an expansion of Lord Shiva? You all got, most of you got it right. He was an empowered expansion of Lord Vishnu. He was a Shakti Avesh Avatar. He was empowered with special skills. So that's how Prithu Maharaj was able to. Very good. I don't know half these kids who is Archi. All of you have given different names. Who was holding the grains and causing starvation to the people in Prithumarad's kingdom? You know this very well. All of you should get this right. Mother Earth, Sun God, King Prithu or Indra? Ooh, why did you say Indra? We were just talking a lot about how Mother, God, Mother Earth did not give the grains, right? But you are right about one thing that Indra did something. And why Prithu Mataji? I saw some people did Prithu. <laughs> what form did Mother Earth take up in fear? I think this you should get right. Everybody. Waiting for one more answer. Yes, very good. One person didn't answer though. Very good. Okay, Archie is doing really good. Who is this Archie? How many horse sacrifices did King Prithu want to perform? How many was he planning to perform? One, ten, thousand, hundred. Hundred. Okay. So that's the hundred is the right answer. 
how many horse sacrifices did he finally perform? This is not how many he wanted to, how many did he perform? Ninety-nine is absolutely right. Okay. Who disrupted King Prithu's sacrifice? Somebody came and kept stealing the horse. Who was it? Brahma, Indra. Not today. Everyone should get this right. This is too easy. Okay, we will find out. Easy peasy. Easy. Yay. <laughs> no, Mataji, one person. Yeah, I think that one person might be some Mataji. She is just playing for fun. True or false? Did Prithu Maharaj stop the sacrifice on Brahma's recommendation? Or did he continue? Do you know that? Huh? True, he stopped the sacrifice because Brahma told him stop. That's yes, enough. I got it. You got it. Uh, okay, four of you got it wrong. Okay, let us see. Rishya, you have a hit a five answer streak. Who appeared in the incomplete who appeared in the sacrifice of King Prithu? One very special personality came there. So loud. Okay. Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, Dhruva, or Swambo Manu. In this of all the four, definitely. Okay, Lord Vishnu is the right answer. Lord Shiva was also present there, but Lord Vishnu is the one who was. Mataji, I accidentally pressed it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we are on question number what? 11. Okay. You have one, two more questions. Answer carefully. What action of King Prithu made Lord Vishnu appear? Was it his 99 sacrifices or the fact that he was going to punish Indra or the fact that he was very obedient to Lord Brahma's instruction and he forgave Indra? Okay, his pride at being a great devotee. Why did some people answer that? Mm. His obedience to Lord Brahma is the right answer. Okay. Devarsh, you have gone right up to the top. Wow. Last question. What benediction did King Prithu ask Lord Vishnu? We were just discussing all about it. Hearing Lord's glories in devotee association, seeing the Lord always, to go back to Vaikuntha, did he ask for liberation or to complete the hundred sacrifices? Perfect. Okay. Most of you got it right. Some of you want him to go back to Vaikuntha and ask for that. But he didn't have to ask for it. He goes back. Okay. So let's see who. Wow. In third place, Devarsh. Archie, who's Archie? Narsimha. Oh, 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 you are Archie and Narsimha. <laughs> Rana Rap is Subhadra Giridari and Palvet. But I should tell you, you all did excellent. Mataji. What? I think there are two Narsimhas in the game. Who was there? There are two Narsimhas. Two Narsimhas in the game? Yeah. Okay, wait, I'll go to the summary. Then you can see. No, not summary. I'll show you the report. Okay. So I hope because, you all... because I was missing. I hope you all learnt a little more with the Kahoot. Mataji, I was Narsima. You are Narsima? Yeah. Which Narsima are you? The one who got in first place. That's him. Really? Okay. <laughs> so there is one Narsimha. There is. Who is Krishna? The Laddu. Supreme Personality of God. We have Laddu, Laddu. We have only one Narsimha. Okay. Yeah. The Mataji, I was Narsimha. We have a bottom also. Okay. 
हरे कृष्णा माते जी यस माता जी हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कंडक्टिंग द क्लासेस सो वेल एंड आल्सो फॉर द कहूत माता जी श्रेया एंड श्रीहरि मिस्ड आंसरिंग योर क्वेश्चन लाइक व्हाट डू यू लर्न इन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ डिवोटीज ओह यस 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 ओह यस थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू ऑल फॉर जॉइनिंग वांचा का पत्र ओके सर श्रेया श्रीहरि प्लीज स्टे बैक ओके आई विल गिव यू टाइम वांचा के लिए वेरी गुड स्टार के पास से गुड बाय एवरी टाइम बट इट्स नॉट अबाउट इट बियो एट नी वे एंड मोनो आई एम एंड द कोड वेयर टू विन दी जैस की जय गुरु महाराज एंड थैंक यू ऑल फॉर जॉइनिंग श्रेया श्रीहरि प्लीज गिव मी योर आंसर आई विल शेयर इट एक्चुअली कैन हेल्प हरि कृष्णा माता जी श्रीहरी एंड श्रेया टू गिव दियर रेस्पॉन्स uh actually uh when we were uh on like camps uh with another group when we were in india mm-hmm. we uh, we got to lo- learn a lot of things like uh, uh why uh these people are famous how the oh. uh, people became saintly and uh and we went to their samadhis and uh we learned a lot uh, to do kirtan uh, fire prabhupad samadhi i told that a uh, fireless going to srila prabhupad samadhi in the yeah. and that too in our birthday on your birthday in my in in vrindavan that was in mayapur in mayapur or vrindavan vrindavan mayapur do you have any sense to that too okay 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 We recited both. Shri Hari, you tell when oh. your turn comes. Okay, let us see what she has to say. So, uh, Samadhi, you went to see Shri La Prabhupada Samadhi. Wow. On my birthday in Mayapur. Hmm. Again, what did you say, Samadhi? Okay, that is Pushpa Samadhi, and yeah. you also were in the real Samadhi. Yeah. Oh, you went to both places. That is yeah. amazing. You went to so you went to both Mayapur and Vrindavan. Wow. Yeah. And, and then we uh, learned uh, to do kirtan and uh, some fireless cooking. Yeah, fireless cooking. Like ladoos and all. Nice. Oh, Tulsi. Okay, we stop. Rasika, you want to say too? That is the same. I want to. What 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 are we what what are we saying at that? we're talking about what you learn in devotee association or when you meet devotees okay so you think about your answer i'm going to write what shri hari has to say shri hari you have to say something different or you lo- you learn cooking too yeah oh nice i hope you're helping your mama yes mother ji we help her mom sometimes <laughs> school after school we have no time so in the weekends you like it here yeah Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so tell me, what did you learn in devotee association? Don't tell me same as Shreya. Say something new. We learned how to be like um. We woke up early in the morning. To be honest. Hmm. Nice. Uh. I learned uh, how to play kattal only kattal but okay nice nice kirtan okay then the sadam <laughs> that's the most important part right yes in the association only we could do the goal and parikrama oh goal and parikrama ha hey, mata ji that was so wonderful Mata ji, uh, it's been almost three years. I think they are forgetting what happened. So, <laughs> so 
we were only 7 years i think we went to yeah we were seven yeah we went to vrindavan in 2022 i guess yeah 2022 22 or 22 yeah, 22. 22 that is 2 years ago yeah. yeah so they were only 6 and a half 7 years and uh, they did the entire govardhan parikrama uh, walking oh. it was so hot yeah and i met the... up i lost my uh, slippers That's okay. I had to walk okay. in the heat. That's okay. the hot sun in uh, on barefoot with barefoot. I lost my shoes. Oh. So in Mahashivanga, so there is a uh, temple. So we had left all our slippers and went to take that. Oh, and when we came out, it was okay. missing. Okay, I I I I thought you were. I was lost, and then. No. But that is okay because uh, somebody who is really in need may may have taken our slippers, yeah. so it is serving Vrindavan Vasis. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, so, <laughs> so monkey almost took my slippers away. Okay. Ah, so, yeah. Or it might be the monkeys over there. Yeah. <laughs> monkeys. Almost... One of our friends got bitten by a monkey. Yeah. Okay. In that of the day. Okay, so we are dis- getting distracted. We are going to answer Mataji's question. What we learn? We went on Govardhan Parikrama. After that, what more? So only with uh, devotee association okay. you could complete the parikrama. By ourselves, we could not have done, right? Wake up early in the so, morning. So yeah, I guess you wake, wake up early in the morning. You should be not even three o'clock. We woke up two o'clock. Two o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> what is the time? Okay. Okay. Okay, so Mata Ji, can I say something? Yes, Sri Hari, are you done? Can Rasika speak? Yeah, Rasika can speak. Thank you, Mata. So, Thank you so much, Sri Hari. From Devoti Association, I learned how to cook chapatis by my yeah. mom, and then I learned um, I learned how to play bridanga and um, and. Do japa. Hmm. Very nice. <clears throat> That's excellent. Thank you all so much for sharing what you have learned. You know, this is a wonderful age where when we learn these things, they stay in our heart. So, okay, we are very late after class. I'll end the call here. Very nice to hear from all of you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji so Hare Krishna Mataji for your experience too I'm so happy that you're here and we are get to be in class and the kids are so Hare nice Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Aditi